today we're going to be doing some cardio intermittently with some strength training moves. Let's draw those feet out, roll the shoulders back, and sink down as low as you feel comfortable. Draw from here that right shoulder over to the left. Keep your neck in a nice neutral position. You don't want to hyperextend, so consider it one length of your spine. And then switch to that other side and really draw that knee back, rotate through the shoulder. Come back to that middle and then draw both knees open. If it doesn't work, come down low. Just relax and create that space through the inner thigh. Hinge forward if you can touch the floor you're going to. Really lengthen that spine. If not, your hands will be on your shins and you're going to lengthen. Interlace your hands and reach for the sky. Just shake your head out. Let any tension or stress go. Let's interlace at the elbows and just stir the pot. So try to increase the range of motion in your spine here as well as your hamstrings by increasing that circle and then gently rewind it the other way. Very nice, you guys. Soften and then push it up. As we come to a forward bend here, I want you to follow the line of your legs. Now from here, reach the arms behind you. You can soften the knees, but shoot the arrows out of your fingertips behind you. Lengthen that spine, flatten the back. And then reach it up again. So forward, gently reach back. Tiny bend in the knees, open up through the chest. Lengthen that spine and back up. Inhale. Reach, exhale. I'm just sinking the hips down as low as they comfortably feel, and then I'm going to extend. If that doesn't work, you could come to this position instead, supporting and just not bending at all. Nice deep breath in, and then reach for that sky. We're going to start first, you guys, with directional jumping jacks. So what we'll do is we'll go forward and then travel to that left side. So five, four, three, two, and rotate, five, three, and rotate, rotate, again, now we're going to rotate towards that right, rotate, again, and then one more time to the middle, and relax it, roll back. Now, pick up your weights. Um, today, I have three pound weights. You can go threes, fives, eights, tens. Elbows will pop in first. Reach to the corner, pull back in. One, two, and three. Without shrugging or lifting your elbows higher than your shoulders. Exhale up, four more. Four, three, two, one more, and one. For the kickback, I can stay right here, or bend and hinge and rotate. Keep that neck in neutral for hinging forward, your elbows just a pivot point. Exhale up, inhale back. Squeeze those triceps. Let's do 10 more, you guys. Nine, eight, rotate your palm when you reach the top, squeeze your tricep, the back of your arm, keep your neck in neutral, abdominal muscles tight, two, one. Now for minis, you can either stay up tall or pulse from the hinge. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Roll back. Drop those weights down. We're gonna go right over left and left over right. Increase that motion here, the range of motion in the shoulders and the chest and the back. Cross and open. Just four more. Three, two, one. Light little jog here. So nice big breath in you guys. Get those arms moving. 
You go as soft, as high, as hard as you'd like. Nice deep breath in. Nice deep breath out. Don't forget to breathe. Just 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Inhale and spread the wings. Bend your knees, pick up those weights. Bicep curl with the calf raise. Curl and pop it up. One and two. Now squeeze from here the elbows into the side. Squeeze the weights. Exhale up, inhale down. Now control that descent. You're not just letting the arms drop. Four more. Three. Exhale, two. And one. Now practice the balance here with that curl. Knee up. Front snap kick as you left. Two and three, knees a pivot point and five, elbows close, six, seven, contract and squeeze the quadriceps, nine, rest it, other side, lift up the knee, exhale, one, two, three, when you exhale, practice engaging that core, pulling that belly button in. Elbows close to the side, squeeze the biceps. Four, three, two, one more time, you guys. And one, roll back, roll forward. Guard your face from here. Jab cross and just get your hips rotating side to side, but pull the weight back in. So I want you to have a weight that you can comfortably Extend and pull back, or just contract the shoulders and the bicep if the weight's too much. Keep guarding your face, arms activated, just a tiny rotation side to side through that waist. Five more. Four, three, guard that face. Two, one more both sides. And give it a rest, you guys. Roll it back. Roll it forward. From here, open up the arms. Now, we're gonna practice our front snap kick. So what I want you to do is lift up your knee, kick that leg forward and step back. Kick and back. One. Two, I want you to reset that foot. Three, four, and exhale as you kick. Pull the belly button in as you extend. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, and 10. Awesome work, you guys, roll your hips. Every time we go for a front snap kick here, you guys, what I want you to think about is you're not just standing straight here, meaning that I don't want to keep my center of my body exposed. So when I come to that front snap kick here, I'm going to kick, but I'm going to position here. So the vital parts here, the eyes, the throat, the heart, the groin are not exposed. It's the side of the body. So you're going to kick, reset, two, three, four, five, and six. Exhale, kick, seven, pull that belly button in, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Roll those hips, you guys, exaggerate. Now rewind it the other way. Fantastic work, you guys. Pick up those weights again. Now we're gonna add our jab cross front snap kick combo. I'm guarding my face. I jab with the front, cross with the back, reset, front snap, and then again, 
Make sure the center of the body is rotated. Jab, cross, front snap, kick, reset. Jab, cross, front snap. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Keep protecting your face. Inhale, exhale. Last three, you guys, jab, cross. Two more, jab, cross. One more time. Awesome work, you guys, roll back and roll forward. Position from here, left foot in front, guard your face. Front hand, front foot is the jab. Back rotate is the cross. Protect the face, front snap kick with the back. Jab, cross. Front snap kick. Two, now keep that core pulled in really tight. Three, especially as you extend the arms away. Four, because when that lever's long, five. If we don't protect that core, we can hurt the back. Seven, eight, jab, cross. Nine, one more. And 10. Bend your knees, place it down. Shake it out, back down. A few more times. All right, so now we're gonna go back to our triceps, but we're gonna keep the elbow high and it's gonna be a pivot point. All right, so from here, I'm gonna open up just like that chicken here, kick back, pull back in. If it doesn't work, everything stays closer, I can still kick back. One, two. Now be mindful that you're not shrugging your shoulders here. Three, your elbows are just a pivot point, but they're lower than your shoulders. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more time, you guys. 10, relax it for a moment. Now our kickback here, is going to be open as far back as we can. And we're just going to keep that isolated. One, two, just to that waist kick back three, four, squeeze your scapula five, shoulders back six, seven, eight, nine. One more time, you guys. And rest it. Drop those weights again. Reach for the sky. Spread the wings and open. Inhale, tall. Exhale. Let's go one more time. Very nice, you guys. We're going to go next to a reverse lunge. So I have less chance of hurting my knee if I come back into a reverse lunge. I can decide how far back I'm going to go. I can rotate through the pelvis. I can really drop back and I can lift that knee, all of which will be optional. All right, so with or without weights, first thing will be the left foot will come back hip distance apart, bicep curl, and then tricep kick back, front snap kick or knee bent. So I curl, pull the knee kick back, or curl and front snap kick. There we go. One, two, Three, now hip distance, four, five, six, you can decide how far back, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more time, you guys, and rest it. Exaggerate the rotation of your hip, rewind it. Maybe one hip has an issue, I can't step back as far. I adjust that motion. Shoulders back, other foot, inhale, exhale. Two, three, doesn't work here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more you guys. Nine and 10. Fantastic work. Roll back. We're gonna do a scapula squeeze. The weight is up to you. 
You're pinching and squeezing your shoulder blades together and try to stand up as tall as you can. One, two, three, and four. So pause and squeeze. Seven, great job you guys. Eight, open, nine, now pulse it. Two, three, good, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10, roll back. Open up your feet here a little bit wider. You're in a sumo squat where your toes are slightly rotated out. You're gonna take a deep breath in, elbows are gonna pop to the side, you're gonna drop down, Open scapula squeeze. One and two. I can always come up and down the wall here, you guys. Three, if I start doing this, four is just too hard to squat, follow the wall. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna stay low from here and just pulse. Try to keep the head right here up nice and tall. Crown of the head to the ceiling. Sink as low as you feel comfortable. Press through the heels, squeeze the glutes. Four more, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. <clears throat> Place that down. If you need to use the wall from here, we're gonna just stretch out the quadriceps. Pull back, open it up. Take a nice inhale. You can place your foot on top of a chair. Deep breath in. Line up those quadriceps, open the shoulder. Switch sides, find that center. Open up through the quadriceps. They do say if you touch your hand, finger to your nose, the balance is easier. I don't know, you could give it a whirl. Big breath in, open. Awesome work, you guys. Shoulders back, start to come down and open. First stretch, we open through the inner thigh, create that space in the shoulder. See if maybe you can come down a little bit further. As we warm up the body, we wanna create that flexibility within the comfort zone of your body and not be really, really hot, stretch out quickly and injure ourselves, but ease into that. Now, toes rotated out. I have a few choices. I can come from here, step in, step in. The movement's going to be, I'm going to touch the floor. I'm trying not to completely fall forward because I don't want to lose from here that center of balance. Jump in and then come back down. Doesn't work, you step. Shoulders back, belly button in. Inhale, exhale. Five more. One, two, three. Four and five, roll back and roll forward. Great work, you guys. Bicep, tricep combo. The weights don't need to be super heavy. The movement is like you are going for a run. Bicep curl, tricep. If you want to, add the step tack kickback. One, two. Three, four, five, your elbow's a pivot point. Seven, your neck is in neutral. Nine, now hold your feet steady. Go for it. Just as fast as you feel comfortable. Get those arms moving. Head, neck, and shoulders in one space. Four more. and relax it. I'm just gonna switch now so that my other foot steps back, pulls in. 
two, three, squeeze the tricep, four, five, neck is in neutral, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to hold steady. One, two, elbow pivot point, neck in neutral, abdominal muscles really engaged. Four more. Four, three, two, one, and rest it. Roll back, roll forward. Now, all I want you to do here is go bicep curl and step back at the same time. So from here, I'm gonna alternate one and then the other. One, two, now the elbows are close to the side, three, Four, five, go at your pace. Six, I keep a tiny bend in the knee. Seven, activate that glute medius. Eight, nine, 10, and relax it. Roll back, roll forward. So we're gonna go half jack. Kick back, same side, half jack, kick back, half jack, two, three. You can do this from standing. You don't have to squat four, but if you can, drop a few inches. Five, elbow pivot point, kick back, six, seven, three more, eight, two more times, you guys, nine, you got one more. Now we're gonna just switch feet. Lateral, kick back. Two, and three, squeeze your shoulders. And four, that lever is up to you, how long it is to the side. Six, and seven. Eight, nine, one more. And relax it, you guys. Open up your hips. Rewind it the other way. Now we're gonna alternate coming forward. Tap and tap. If the weight's too heavy, I would do same arm, same leg. I could bend a little bit, but I'm gonna try to lengthen and keep it straight. One, I can do every time. Both arms, exhale up, tap. So I'm sinking down. My arms are not gonna come higher than my shoulders. Alternate. Five more, four, three, Two, one more both sides. Give it a rest, you guys. Roll back, forward. So we're gonna go front, side, back. When my leg comes front, my hands come front. When my leg comes side, my arms come side. When I come back, tricep kick back. Shoulders back, front, side, Back, same side, front, side, two, front, side, three, front, side, four, front, side, five, front, side, six, front, side, seven, inhale, exhale, eight. Keep your core engaged the whole time. One more, now transfer to the other side. Front, side, back, front, side, two, front, side, three. You can do this without weights if it becomes too much. Four, front, side, five, front, side, six. Keep your core nice and tight, you guys. Great job, seven, front, Side, eight, front, side, nine, one more, front, side, and 10. 
Open that up. Increase that range of motion, your spine and your back. Maybe it feels a little looser than when we started. Now, what we're gonna do is go through the gambit. You're gonna go front, side, back, other foot, front, side, and back. And then you're gonna transfer back to the first side. So shoulders back, belly button in. Come to the front, side, back, switch feet, front, side, and back. Again through, front, side, back, front, side, back. I can do a front raise or a bicep curl. Front, side, back, or curl, and keep it close. You decide. And front, side, back, front, side, back. Four more, front, side, back, front, side. Three more. Front, side. Two more times, you guys. Front, side, back, front, side. Just one more time, both sides. Front and side and back. And let it go, you guys. Roll forward 10 each direction. Alternate the front taps, but don't let your arms come all the way down. If you need to bend them, you can do this instead. Keep it straight if you can, but don't shrug. So four, three, two, one. Tap, tap, tap. Just tiny movements. If I bend my elbows in, that lever is shorter. Don't want to hurt my neck. Five more. Four. Three. Great job, you guys. Two. Last time. Alternate your kickbacks. Kick. Tap. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to lean forward. So stand up tall. Chest open. Scapula squeezing. Tricep kick back. Last four. Three, two, one more both sides. And relax it, you guys. Awesome work. Soften your knees. Shake it out. Shake it down. Right over left. Left over right. Check in with yourself and see how you feel. It's all about increasing the range of motion building the strength in a supportive way where you feel like you can comfortably create that space and strength simultaneously in your body. Open, inhale, exhale. Three more. Two, one more time. Now, our hook kick comes to the side of the cheek. The biggest thing that happens is people like to really push away from yourself. You don't want to lose your center of gravity and you want to be able to take your hand and pull it back to protect your face. That way if there's a counter attack, somebody's, you're not completely exposed. So let's open up our feet slightly here. You can slightly squat, you're going to open. And then all I want you to do is add from here that hook. Keep your arm close to your body. Reset. So same side. Pivot. One, two, three. Now really from here, contract here and squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Now other side. Hook. Two. Three, four, block your face, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Now we're gonna alternate. The feet are going to go side to side. You're gonna hook and hook, hook, hook. But keep from here the arms activated. Hook, block your face. Contract from here, bicep, 
shoulder, block your face. Four more, hook, hook, three, two, and relax it, you guys. Awesome work. Roll back and forward. Open and sink. I'm going to open up from here, sumo style or plie. Focus on the inner part of the thigh. The more my feet are rotated out, the inner part of the leg works. Shoulders back. One, two, three, four. Lead with your elbow and five and squeeze your scapula together as you come up. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now rewind your circle. One, two, open up through the chest. Three, four, five, six, Seven, three more. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. Awesome work, you guys. Let's open up to a little bit of a lateral stretch. So from this position, my right foot is slowly, slightly rotated. And I wanna feel comfortable dropping and creating that space in my hip flexor. If I have two light weights, I could use two light weights. If I have one heavy and I wanna to come to that row, inhale, and exhale. One and two, three and four. If it's too much to bend, five, rotate from hip to hip, six. Don't lose your shoulder here as you row. We don't want it to fall. Pull, we wanna keep it in that socket. Two more. Now I'm gonna stay from here in this stretch and row, one, two, three, wrap it around your back, four, five, from your knee to your hip, six, seven, eight, two more, stretching at the same time, nine, one more time, and 10. Other side, I'm just gonna rotate from here, that left foot, so I feel like I can comfortably bend that knee, shoulder back. Inhale and exhale. Without losing the shoulder, three, I can guard from here with the opposite arm so I can feel if that's starting to drop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Now stick with that stretch here, row. Two, keep your upper body three, nice and tall. Rotate and squeeze your scapula. Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, one more time. And 10. Awesome work, you guys. Go ahead from here, place the weights in front of you. So as we come through our next move, if you need a chair to modify your move, you can. We're gonna do our step back burpee. So what we're gonna do first is come down as low as you can. You're gonna step back first or use a chair. Right foot steps back, left foot steps back. Hop in, hop out, right, left, back up. I'll show you one more time from the side. From here, like I'm in my hut position, my back is flat. Step back left or right, in, out, up, up and reach. We're just increasing that space in the body and bending in a comfortable space. We're not gonna hurt ourselves. So drop down, step back, right? Left, hop in, out, and right, left, one. Right, left, in, out, right, left, and two. Bend your knees, right, left, in, out and reach, and right, left, in, out. Now we're gonna switch here to that left. Left, right, in, out, left, right, reach. Left, right, in, out. Nice deep breath in, push through the heels to squeeze your glutes up, 
Inhale, exhale. Last two, you guys. Inhale, exhale, hop to it. And one last time. Inhale, exhale, in, out, and reach for the sky. Open from here and circle the arm back. Nice deep breath in. Increase the range of motion in the shoulder. Rewind it. You go at your pace. Other side. Range of motion. The more range of motion we have, the more comfortable we are in our body, everyday tasks. Awesome work, you guys. Now, I want you to go ahead from here and you're gonna step this left foot back to a 45 degree angle behind you from this position. Now, spread from here that arm, open, pull back to the hip. Open, open. Like you're circling to the side, increasing that space in that shoulder, increasing that range of motion in the hip flexor. Two more. And one more and stretch and open. Relax your hips, rewind it. Now you're gonna be stepping back here with the other side and you're gonna reach through it. So we're exaggerating that range of motion. When we go and reach for something, you want to keep your abdominal muscles nice and engaged. Keep that pressure in that heel, in that foot. As we lengthen the body, we don't want to let that core go. So we don't want to hurt ourselves. Two more. And rest. Roll back. So sometimes we reach for the salt and we throw our back out. It's not a very big movement. But the more that we get comfortable, with these movements, keeping this engaged, the less chance of injury as we go through. We're gonna hit the floor and review a few things to continue to build that strength in the abs, you guys. All right, so as we spoke about, that belly button is coming into the spine. When I'm on the floor, it makes it really nice because I can focus on pressing my low back to the floor. If I need to rotate my knees to the side in order to come down, I will or I would roll back. Now, low back pressing, belly button comes in. From this position, you guys, you cannot practice this enough. You're really imprinting your spine. Whether you are just lying here and pulling and trying to create that mold of your spine in the floor, you're gonna to continue to build that strength of your pelvic floor and your abdominal muscles. So from here, I'm gonna interlace my hands. Relax my shoulders open. Low back pressing. Now, if I really incorporate the breath as I lift, exhale, two, three, belly button into the spine, four, five. Really focus on that imprint, six, seven, eight, nine. Now pulse it. Keep everything connected, relax the head and the hands. Exhale. Four more. Keep that low back pressing. It doesn't matter if you hold right here and keep everything engaged. You are working that core. Three more, two, and one. Relax for a moment. Stretch everything out, natural curve in the spine. Big breath in, nice big breath out. Bend your knees, bottom of your feet together. Now notice this curve gets even bigger. If you can, you're gonna interlace your hands, 
and then rotate your pelvis from here and press that low back down to the floor and then stretch those arms up. So nice big breath in. No extra tension in your neck, just a nice elongated stretch here, connecting that low back to the floor with the feet together and the knees open. All right, so back to our position, low back pressing. Left leg is going to come up. It's in one angle here with the right. So inhale, one, two, close your eyes, three. And as you lift, make sure that that low back is connected and that your head and your neck is supported with your hands and your thumbs. So we don't want our head to feel like it's hanging in midair. It's supported with the strength of the arms but you're lifting up just through the shoulder blades. Three more, two. Now just at the top of that movement, pulse it. One, two, three. It's a very small movement. You barely have to move, if at all, you guys. Your low back is pressing, your head supported. Three more, three, two, and one. Give it a rest, open it again. First, let that natural curvature of your spine open and then interlace an imprint and then stretch it. See if you can feel that difference. You don't want to hyperextend your back. And as we come through this, you want to really make sure that we're focusing on building that pelvic floor and pressing that belly button in and low back down. We're going to switch to the other side, you guys. Other leg, I'm just trying to make it even. From here. So if I need to come up higher or soften the knee, that's okay. But the goal is to keep it in one line with the other leg if you can. So again, hands behind the head. One, two, three. Keep your chin off your chest. Four. Exhale as you lift. Five. If it helps, close your eyes. Six. And seven. Eight. And nine. Right here now, pulse. One and two, squeeze it, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, and relax it, you guys. Nice work, now stretch all the way out. Let's take a great big breath in, you guys. Reach for that sky. We're gonna flip over into a plank. Okay, so from here, the more that we can strengthen the overall body and come to a plank position, I'm going to set my timer, you guys. The goal is going to be to hold for one minute in your high plank. You can always come to your knees. And then if you are holding a plank, you're going to drop down to your elbows and we will hold one more time for a minute. It is not easy. I'm not saying that it is, but we have to push ourselves to do the unimaginable in our mind. And it's amazing how as we go through this, I'll call out the time and maybe 30 seconds is your, is your limit, but you're gonna notice that as we progress through this, you're gonna be able to hold longer and longer. All right, so we've got one minute. First things first, palms are under the shoulders, neck is in neutral. It's like you're holding a push-up position. And if you need to, your knees would drop from this position, not underneath here, okay? All right, so deep breath in, you guys. We have one minute. I want you to squeeze your armpits together. Keep your neck in neutral. Take a nice deep breath in. Now feel the strength of your core. At no point is your belly button out or is your low back sinking. So keep everything pulled in, you guys. Squeeze your glutes. You're already at 20 seconds. Now feel that strength in your quadriceps. Maybe you'll notice a little bit of shaking in the body, but you don't stop. You keep holding. You're already at 30 seconds. If you need a break, you can always take it and pick it back up. Nice deep breath in. After this, remember, we're coming down to the elbows. We're at, right here, you guys, 20 seconds left. Pull that belly button tight, 15 seconds now. Keep holding. If it does not work for you, you're on your knees. Last eight seconds, and then we're going to go down, down, right shoulder or left elbow. You decide two, one, drop down to the elbows. Now you can pike up your hips in dolphin or hold it. You can go back and forth 
but try to hold in that neutral position. Elbows under your shoulders, pressing through the forearms. If this was easy, you guys, everyone would do it. Pull the belly button in. Engage the core, squeeze the glutes. Drop your knees if you need to, but try not to come all the way down. We are almost there, just 30 seconds. Now use the whole body. Remember, if you need to, pipe up your hips for a second. Bring it back to that parallel. You guys can do this. You're at one minute, 40 seconds. Only drop your knees if you can't keep holding. Here we go, you guys. Last 15 seconds. Now really push it, neck in neutral. Elbows under the shoulders, squeeze at the armpits. 10 seconds, belly buttons in. Contract the quadriceps, five. Push energy out of your heels, two. One, drop to the knees and puppy pose. Give me a great big stretch here, you guys. Nice inhale. Start to sink those hips back and lengthen your spine. Wonderful job, you guys. Whether you did 30 seconds or a minute, it is not easy to hold a plank. You're using your entire body to hold you. And when you're on your elbows, it's very abcentric. Walk your hands to that left corner. Push your hips to the right. If puppy pose feels best, we keep the hips high. Walk to that other side. Big breath in, you guys. Tremendous job. Now we're going to come to a plank jack. If I need to use a chair, if I want to do a regular jumping jack and I can't come down from here, no worries. I'm either going to hold from this plank position and jack. You could come to your elbows. You could step tap. You could even stick to your knees or step tap and step tap, okay? You go at your pace. Take a deep breath in. Your neck is in neutral. 10 jacks, hold for 10. One. Two, three, feel the strength of your body. Five, six, your neck is in neutral. Seven, eight, nine, and I'm gonna hold for 10. If I need a break, I would push back to a down dog. Five, four, three, two, one, down dog. Now for eight times, you guys, same thing. Regular jacks, half jack, you decide. Let's do it, eight. Six, you can step tap, four, two, hold it for eight, engage the core. If you need to, you push back down dog. Keep it in neutral, two, one, push back down dog. Nice inhale, you guys. Awesome work, we are at six, six, four, two, one. Hold it for six, doesn't work down dog, three, Two, push back. Almost there, you guys. We're so close. You need a break. Drop down to your knees. Here we go. Four, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Doesn't matter if you hold on your knees and push back down, dog. Instead of two, we're going to go back to 10. One last time, you guys. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it now, everything you've got. Pull that belly button in. I know this is hard, you guys are so strong. Push back down, dog. Relax your knees, puppy pose. Feel the length and the strength in your back, and then sink your hips back if that's comfortable. You can always bring your hands by your feet and just settle down. Roll the rest. Rewind it. We're gonna to come to a cat cow. Exaggerate. Exhale. One more time. I'm going to push back down dog, lengthen my spine, and we're going to step from here forward by taking your right leg, lifting it up, 
And then you're gonna drop forward and open into that lunge. Now, if I need to walk my back foot in and come up from here, if you can, you're lengthening and opening, creating that space in your hip flexor. Big breath in. Nice big breath out. Now I can lengthen this front leg if I have that flexibility. Or again, that back foot's in, and I'm lengthening and opening, contracting the quadricep to open up through the hamstring, building that strength and that flexibility. I'm gonna go back to downward facing dog and then bicycle. And now the other foot is going to come up. I'm gonna lengthen and reach for the sky. And then draw that foot forward. If I can hold the lunge here, I will. If I need to bring that back foot in, I want to keep that hip distance stretch here. Nice deep breath in. Inhale. Your neck is an extension of your spine. Lengthen that leg. So if you can from here and shoot the energy out of the hamstring, otherwise step it back and then find that center and keep your back straight, contract the quadricep and lengthen that hamstring. Nice deep breath in you guys. I'm gonna step up from here, both feet. Again, if I have a hard time leaning forward, I can come from this position. Stretch, it's very active. Nice deep breath in. Bend the knees, elbows on the knees if this works best. From here, tuck and round, exaggerate that space, and then look up, bend and tuck, open, one more time. Soften and roll it up. Very good, you guys. Let's go back to those arms now. We have 100 movements. So if you want to go light, you decide. We're gonna try not to let the arms rest. Drop the weights all together if you don't feel like it's too much. We're gonna go ahead from here, you guys. Cross, open, cross, open. So you're gonna W, you're gonna take from here your left arm parallel, and then right arm parallel without shrugging the shoulders. Every movement counts, deep breath in. One, Two. Now, where's that belly button pulled right into your spine? Three, four, five, six, seven. No tension in your neck. Eight, nine, ten. Now, just the right. One, two, three, and four. Keep it out of the neck. Five, and six. Keep your wrist straight. Seven, eight, two more, nine. Now just the left. One, two, three. Awesome job, you guys. Four, keep this out of your neck. Five, feel the strength in those arms. Six, seven, eight. You need to come down lower, do it. Nine, right into your scapula, squeeze. Open, one, two, three, squeeze, four, five, six, open, seven, eight, nine, pulse it, one, two, work that posture, nice and tall, you guys, after this, we're halfway, we only have 50 more movements, three, two, and one, reach for the corners, tuck, one, Two, if need be, three, four, five, six, without shrugging, seven, shoulders, biceps, eight, nine, scapula, one more, hold the arms up from here. If you want to step back and lengthen, open up through the hip flexor, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, great job you guys, seven, eight, 
Nine, all we're gonna do is switch feet now. I know those arms are tired. Let's do it, make it 70. One, two, three, four, take that break when you need it. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna make it 80 and we're gonna rotate it in and out. One, two, I'm really feeling this in those arms. Four, five, Six, seven, we're so close. Eight, nine, last 10, pump it up. One, two, feel that strength in the shoulders, biceps. Five, six, seven, eight, last two. And rest it, you guys. Drop those weights out, right over left left over right and just let it go. We're gonna stretch here and create that space in the arms. Take from here that left arm, tuck it and pull it in. Roll the wrist, rewind it. Really pull that in. You can lift it up without choking yourself here. You can also come down lower. Open up other side, tuck your elbow into that and then pull in as close as you can to your chest. Roll the rest. Great job today, you guys. You can come lower, see how that feels. You can come higher without choking yourself. Nice deep breath here. Pat yourself on the back. Great job here. Open up through that tricep. You can look down if that feels comfortable. You can also look up and just trying to take that elbow and line it towards the center of the back of the head and then switch to the other side. Nice deep breath in. We always wanna create a little space in the neck, you guys. So what I want you to do is open and just look towards that right corner, 45, right arm grabs and gently tucks into that armpit. Left arm comes behind the back and just gently draw the chin down. Create the space along your trapezius, the back of your neck, relax to the shoulder, lift it back up, let it go. Now I'm gonna tuck from here that right, look towards that left, and then tuck that chin in towards the armpit and relax from here that right shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Think about how frequently we are rotating our body forward. Open up that chest. Interlace your hands and squeeze. Nice deep breath in. Maybe just standing like this is enough. You can use a wall and you can take a, a door in between the door and step through and anchor your arm all the way back as you lean. This is the door hinge. Other side. Nice deep breath in. And then hug yourself, big hug. Nice deep breath, you guys. One more time, open and hug it out. Inhale and exhale. Let's take three big breaths and reach for the sky. Now spread the wings and open. Think about all the things that you have to be thankful for that you can move your body, that you can join a workout, that you can enjoy yourself and go for a walk. Take a big breath in, reach for the sky. And as we exhale, relax the hand on the heart and gently bow your head. Namaste, you guys, have a fantastic day. Great job.